Okay, uh, this is Andy Finch from IT Biometrics, and we are here to talk about fingerprint recognition. Uh, we have seen reports and read articles about people in Japan or Australia using gummy bears or, or vitamins, gummy candies, to crack into an iPhone. And so what we would like to do today is to test and demonstrate how that was actually done and then demonstrate a device that is unhackable. So first of all, um, the articles that talk about gummy bears, they actually did not use the gummy bear itself. They used a gelatin material that is a main ingredient in all chewy candies. Um, what we did is we took a piece of silicone and we warmed it up and then made an imprint of my thumb. Now, the reason that we did this is because it generates the absolute best fingerprint quality by taking the print directly off of my thumb, not from an image or from any other source. Then we took a standard pe uh, a batch of gelatin that you can find in any supermarket and we warmed it up and poured it into the mold so that it captured the fingerprint. Now for an iPhone, you can tell that the iPhone is locked. And if I use my thumb, I can unlock that phone. If I use my finger, it will not unlock the phone. But if I take this piece of gelatin that has my fingerprint on it, I can unlock the phone. Let me do that again. Unlock the phone. So now what we have is we have a device that has additional sensing capabilities beyond just a capacitive fingerprint reader. And what we're going to demonstrate is how this device will not recognize the gelatin because it's not a living finger. Okay, so what we're going to demonstrate is this device next to the application where I apply my thumbprint, go ahead and hit the match, match succeed, so it knows that I have the same fingerprint as what's already been stored, okay? Now if I take the gelatin device and I place the finger, now match, it's not even recognizing the fingerprint hardly because it knows it's not real. And I'm going to move it all over so we can try and get this thing and then hit the match. Here we go. Okay, now hit match. Match fail. So even though it recognizes the fingerprint on the screen here, it recognizes the fingerprint, because it's not a living person, it does not recognize the input. Go ahead and capture template again. So it's capturing the fingerprint and then match fail. I'm gonna move this around again. Go ahead, capture the template. So you can see that it captures my fingerprint and match fail. It does not recognize it as a living person. Now, if we go back to the cell phone here, I can take this same device and I can log into my cell phone with it. So the same fingerprint will get into my cell phone, but it will not match fail. It will not break into this device. So this device is superior to cell phones because it detects a living person and not just a fingerprint.